was coming over to check number two combine to see what really happened to that fan. I think it snapped. I don't know. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It snapped. That I'm thing not, got like red hot. I'm not too sure how that happens. Junk. That'll be fun to replace. I grease that one regularly. I gotta show you this because it's kind of funny. So you know we have auto path. So you don't have to find your guest rows where you split a field. And somehow Preston still was off a row. Way to go, Preston. Way to go. We got the boss man with us. I'll tell you that my man. Are you watching mom binds? It's crap. Yeah. Waiting again. So this field here is some corn on corn ground. And I just want to get out and look at it a little bit. We did corn on corn here. It's just a little 20 acre field because just the way we wrote, had the rotation this year, we wanted all corn in this chunk of land over here in this section, and we wanted all beans in this area. So just kind of help keep flowing of harvest and springs work, we put corn on here again. And I do like corn on corn, and here's why, because it helps build up the organic matter. Here's all the old corn from last year, we just no-tilled into it. It's some happy looking soil. There's a lot of disadvantages of corn on corn, but that's one advantage of it that I like. Kind of cool to see, and that's pretty good corn out here. This got hailed on really bad, but that ain't a bad sized cob. Waiting on a grain cart again, and according to my sieve loss monitor, we're throwing it off the back. Ooh, on the outside row here, there definitely is some loss. That's not ideal. Granted, this is where I parked, that's still not quite ideal. You know where I didn't park, there's still some, still some current back here. Wonder why it was working so good, what changed? This is a quite a bit smaller corn cob. I wonder if I just don't gotta tighten my concaves down. I bumped open my sieve quite a few. I'm thinking that's what it is. I need tighter concave. I do got good sized cobs back here though. Heck, here's a full cob. We're in the process of trying to open this field and JT already can't keep up. Our sunlight went down and I feel it already. The warmth is going away. Gotta turn the heat up. Seems like every evening, the moment that sun hits the horizon, it gets a little cool. I'm full and press is full. We're both weighing on a grain cart to show up. And it is currently, you know, almost dark out. I'm only in a sweatshirt and I'm okay. How did we go from five degrees in October to now nearly 50 degrees? Sorry, 45 degrees in November. Almost, almost middle of November now. But let's see the job we're doing out the back. Says I'm doing a good job, but you never want to trust that. Oh, oh, there's one right there. They're not coming towards me. So inefficient. I need to use the restroom. I'll be back. All right. Restroom break is done. We finally got Preston coming here. Now I'm the inefficient one. Yep, red card's waiting for me. <sighs> Separator on. Header on. Gauge auto steer. Row sense kicks on, and I need to stop because my grain cart's now being slow. Come on, JT. There he is. And now we can go. He's almost full. He just dumped on a truck, guys. And he's almost full. Technically, it should be able to load one truck in a minute, but we don't give it all the smoke. We're at almost two minutes. You're not giving her enough smoke, JT. Well, guys, time to close up shop for the night. Yep, shop's closed down. Let's go home. I'm gonna ride home in a truck now. Hopefully Cameron don't kill me on the way home. Last night we filled another bag up, so after that was full, we called it quits. We just got another new bag on the machine. Now we're heading down to get the trucks all unloaded. Took us 20 minutes this morning. I think that's the fastest we've done it yet. Come 
combine it again. This morning we got greased up, fueled up, windows somewhat clean. And we're back to rolling and not even nine o'clock, which we got going sooner. But start going back and forth. We got mom in number three. I'm in number one, because now number one has the auto steer issues. Plus it has the older head on it now. Number three has the new head and auto steer is working flawless. And besides that's technically her combine. So she's in that one. She'll be good to go in that one. And I'm gonna dink her around with number one here. Hopefully we can get her to work through the rest of the season. Hopefully they also figure out what is wrong with the auto steer before the season's over. Maybe we should just trade it and get a new one. It's old, it's wrinkly. I like that idea. What do you guys think? Should we just trade it and get a new one? First dump of the day. Probably gonna take a lot of those today. Well, we got us an almost full grain cart. JT, slow down. And no trucks here yet. But we knew trucks were gonna fall behind because they got such a far haul. Eventually we're gonna have to probably go down to just one combine, but we're trying to open up all the fields right now, which take time with both combines and do all the little fields and then open up the rest of the big fields. So that's just back and forth. Once we get this one done, then we gotta drive like six miles, do a little 14 acre field. And then after that, we gotta drive another couple miles and do a little 30 acre field. And I'm trying not to spill. And then after that, then the rest are in one area, but there are a lot of smaller ones, bigger ones in there. You'll see when we get there, but he's basically full. Well, I'm back for another load and everybody's already waiting. So the day is going great. Hi, George. Oh, stretch break. Everything's full. A truck is here. Preston just got back. The JT's loading him. But he's still basically gonna have a truckload on him still once he's done dumping on the truck. Holy cow. I launched that 300 feet. This thing does not belong on a header or a combine. Get out of here. You also get out of here. Those don't go through those nicely. I'm full again, but we're not waiting on trucks curly. I'm waiting on a grain cart. We got done with that one field. Now we just moved to this little 14 acre field to the combines. The grain cart had to wait at the last one. Let's get unloaded because he still had over a semi load on. So he had to wait for a semi to show up. So technically we still kind of are waiting on semis, but we're waiting on grain carts now. So I'm gonna get out and check the job that my machine's doing and also on the pass of mom's machine. Make sure they're both doing a good job still. Right here is where I stopped. So for the combine to clean out, there's a lot more here. So if I find basically no corn here, then we're doing a very, very good job. Three? Three ain't bad, especially in the spot where you stop. Now I'm just walking on my trail. Anything sitting on top of the grooves would be combine loss. Like here's one. This is head loss right here. Right in the center of the header where the augers come in to bring all these to the Veter house. It just shells them apart and flies out the front. There's nothing you can really do about it. Deck plates are closed up as tight as we can get them. And there's just nothing you can do. Overall, it's decent which is what you want. You want to put it up in the hopper, then in the grain bins, and then in your pocket. I'm looking where my grain cart's at. How am I up at here? There he is, he's sitting parked right, right there. It's not too far, here we are. Full combine sitting parked. Right up there's a farmstead. He's right on the north side of that farmstead. Right up there. I did see, oh, he's moving again. He's speeding back up. I did see a vehicle go that way right before I got on here. So you must have been waiting for him, but sometimes it would be nice to have the trucks on this so we could see the location when one's gonna get here instead of having to call them up, all, hey, where you at and bug them all the time. We can just go on here and look. And I'm still not seeing the grain cart. Should be seeing them pop out of there any second. Oh, yep, I see him right there. I see the flashing lights. Just like that, we finished this little 12, 14 acre piece. Dump the last of it on the cart. And then the cart will dump it on the truck sitting right there. So now we're gonna move to a 30 acre field, about a half mile back of trail. 
And then we'll be at the last stuff, which is all within one mile. I'm not sure which power company this is, but uh, they need to raise those lines. But now working on one field, there's another one right across the road there. There's another one across the trees over there. Like right there, there's like trees that, tree, short trees that are growing. There's another one behind me. And there's another one kitty corner over there. And there's another one kitty corner over there. Everything's within this right here. And then that's the last for harvest. So there's no more a lot of moving, but we are gonna move around between all these fields here and open them up. Once again, for like the 50th time today, not really, but we're waiting again. Truck just shot up again right over there somewhere. Grain cart will dump on him. We got that first field over there opened up. A little bit done back and forth. Went in the back, opened that one up. Now we're in this one. We just started this one. Now we get this one done, then we're probably just gonna go back and forth for the rest of the night since it's gonna be dark. Or maybe we'll go up and do that little guy up over the hill over there, a little 30 acre piece and actually do that whole thing. Yep, that is definitely some kern. Yeah. It's about that moisture. Let's go, JJ! I got things to do! It's dark out now. Coming to an end for the day here very shortly. Gonna be shut down here soon. The last truck is coming back to the field. He should be here very soon. We'll fill him up. And now we just gotta get enough on the cart for a load for the morning. So that way tomorrow morning right away, one truck can fill up and go. So it kind of splits them up and not one right after another like that that's a wrap on the night we're just pulling up lining up letting everything cool down and head for home